I look at myself in the mirror and I just want to be skinny. 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 I look in the mirror and I just want to be skinny. Yeah, you know I'm thin. You know, you know I'm thin. I can see that already, but skipping ropes on my own. I just want to be skinny. I don't know. I could just get thin. I said thinner. myself that you can't flatter. Be funny. House work sick me. I just want to be skinny. I can't in position. I don't want to look sick. Too eighty. You don't just want to be thinner, thinner than her. Just skinny across the board. I want to thin down to the space between your fingers. I want to be skinny. The scale won't read me. You won't even see me. I want to be skinny, thin like a sheet of paper, and rounded on the edges. One cup of milk like this, like this, like this, like this. And then I'm nothing, and then I'm nothing. And then I'm nothing. Diced. Diced into cubes, into cubes, crushes, into sand, crushes, into sand. spread, spread the sand, like, like the sand, the wind, gone with the wind, with the wind. Thin. Peanut butter crumbles from my ice cream mold. One cup of raw leafy yeah. vegetable, half a cup of other vegetable, cooked or chopped raw. This is the junk vegetables inside. inside. One medium apple and one light orange. Half so cup chopped cooked green peas. Two medium from within. One slice of bread. Twice. One ounce. Suddenly I realize that. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow, I I'll, I'll eat one meal. I'll skip breakfast. I'll walk for a bit. I'll cut the carbs. I'll have a salad. Tomorrow, I can start. Tomorrow, I can start fresh. I'll be the best anorexic I can be. So, how was your day? Fine, I guess. Did you do anything meaningful? Okay, well, this is your last session with me, Faith. Wouldn't you like to use it wisely? I mean, you're so young, and you just act like you want to be stuck in rehab your entire life. Don't you have anything to say to that? You know, no one has ever asked me why. I know it's wrong, but still, hasn't anyone ever wondered why I do what I do? I mean, instead of judging me, maybe people could understand if they asked. It's the same reason why a painter paints and a singer sings. I treat my body like a canvas. A potter molds with a potter's wheel. I create my art in pain. No paints, no musical notes, not even an audience, just me. I get so light. It's like I'm floating. I can feel my bones fill with air. I can feel every muscle inside my body, every flex, every stretch. 
And it feels so good. I feel the embarrassment in a quiet room where there are people around and my stomach sells me out always. <laughs> you can hear the groaning. It's like my stomach is crying, you know? I'm starving to death and it is so fulfilling. It feels so good. I feel so full. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, no. I don't get it. I'm not an artist. And frankly, everyone plays piano when they're little. Do you remember that, that really hard, that really hard composition that your mom forced you to learn? And until you got it right, you weren't allowed to watch TV after dinner. <laughs> it was so ridiculous, but that stupid piano song became our life's mission, and we worked really hard, and you learned it, and then played it for your mom, and you felt so good about it. Even if everything else in the world was still as awful as it always was, in that moment, you felt so good because you accomplished something. Even if you're on your way to accomplishing death, this is why I never talk to you. Faith, accomplishments are wholesome and healthy. Honey, everyone wants to feel like they accomplished something. Everyone craves that fullness. We all crave something. Art, whether it's music or pottery, makes us feel full. I tried explaining this to my mom a few months ago, and she said, You accomplished 88 pounds, Faith. Every artist knows their limit. Well, clearly she's not an artist. Take Michael Jackson, for instance. How many records did he sell? He didn't stop recording tracks after his first hit, or his seventh, or his eighth. He kept singing, writing, and recording because it probably made him feel great. So why stop? Why stop? What's 80 pounds? You finally run one mile to find out your roommate runs three every weekend. You starve for days to stay at a size zero. And then you see girls who, who never go to the gym and eat burgers every day. It's disgusting. <laughs> they put in no effort at all, and yet they're thin. They keep making records to be the best. I starve to be the best. And you never know when to stop because you never feel thin enough. You never feel full enough. I, I can never be thin enough. But that's the life of an artist. You try to find some kind of satisfaction in this life, but this life is never really satisfying, so art makes you feel full for a little while. But art is really just a false sense of hope. Anorexia, it's like everything else, just deceiving. Wait, you don't have to leave here the way you came in. We can talk about whatever you want, but you can't just leave. You know, if you told me I could eat, I would. I just couldn't shut up. If you told me you loved me, I would believe you. Just for today, I could live peacefully. I couldn't make any promises about tomorrow, but at least right now, try to stay alive for just one more day. <laughs>